Good day! In this video, we are going to do question 1B of the 2021 NCA Level 3 Probability Distribution Paper. Without further ado, let's do part 1 and then later on we'll do part 2 of this question. If you can get both part 1 and part 2 right, you'll get excellence in this paper. As usual, we need a graphic calculator to solve this problem. So, for any given intersection with traffic lights on Memorial Avenue, Proposed safety changes will increase the probability of being required to stop from 0 0.45 to 0 0.6. So the probability has increased from 0 0.45 to 0 0.6. A driver can be considered unlucky if they are required to stop at more than half of the six sets of traffic light when they drive the complete length of Memorial Avenue. Cal calculate the estimate of the probability that a driver will be unlucky when driving the complete length of Memorial Avenue with the proposed safety changes. So you need to move the most important thing, more than half. So that will be three or more. Okay, more than half, no, sorry. More than half means more than three, so it will be four, five, and six. So that's the probability when calculate. The probability that's unlucky, the probability is four, five, and six. Okay, so to calculate four, five, and six, we're going to take one minus probability of zero, plus probability of one, probability of two, probability of 3. So this part is a cumulative probability, so we're going to put 1 minus BCD, because this is a binomial, okay, of x equal to 3, because it starts from 0 to 3, so x equal to 3, the probability has increased from 0 0.45 to 0 0.6, and the number of trial or number of traffic light is still going to be 6. So we are going to do this BCD from 0 to 3, and we're going to take 1 minus that probability. So the same, Statistics, go to statistics. Now this time distribution, F5. And then again, binomial is F5 again. This time you do not do BPD, you have to do BCD because it's a cumulative. So you're going to press F2. Once you got F2, now what we're going to do is that we are going to key in as usual. This time again, we get to be variable. Always remember it's going to be variable. So variable is F2. X is going to be 3 because we calculate the cumulative from 0 to 3. So x equal to 3, execute. Number of trial is still going to be 6 because there are 6 sets of traffic light. P is now increased to from 0 0.45 to 0 0.6. So we're going to put 0 0.6, execute, execute. And the answer is 0 0.45568. Or we simplify them, it's going to be 0 0.4. Five, six. Because we are interested in 4, 5, 6, we only calculated 0, 1, 2, 3, so we must minus 1 minus 0 to 3, they will give us 4, 5, 6. So that's the answer going to be 1 minus 0, 0.456, and the answer is 0, 0.544. So if you can answer that part, that will be uh, achieved. So when we do the part 2, if you can answer them, that will be excellent. Okay, so we are going to reset the system so that it will be easier in the future. Okay, so we are going to set the equation and then we are going to start part 2. Okay, part 2 sounds like this. Okay, so I'm going to bring part 2 question now. Okay, so because it's a long question, I've done certain part of the question. So we shall read the question in part 2 and we're going to bring in the calculator. Okay, okay. F1 and exit and exit and we are ready to go. Okay, so we are going to start. Okay, hope you can see. Okay, yes. A person drive the entire length of Memorial Avenue to work back and f work and back home over a working week. So Monday to Friday. So Monday to Friday, there are five days and if they go up and down, it's going to be 10 trips altogether. Investigate the claim that this person will not experience an increased likelihood of being unlucky on every trip they talk, take along Memorial Avenue during their working week if the proposed safety changes are put in place. So we, from without the proposed changes, where P remains at 0 0.5, okay, that's the first part. Using N equal to 6, P equal to 0 0.45, this is the, without the changes, okay, so we are going to calculate the same probability of X greater than 4, is going to be 1 minus probability of x less than 3, okay? So this time, the without the changes is 0 0.45, so we are going to do the same thing, calculate statistics, 
distribution, binomial, BCD, and now we're going to do again. Variable, execute, no, sorry, uh, max, x is going to be 3, okay, because we calculate 0 to uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, so x is going to be 3, execute, number of trial is going to be 6 sets of data, this time the original amount is 0 0.45, execute, execute, and the answer is going to be 0 0.774. Okay, zero seven sorry zero point seven four four seven because we are calculating greater than four we take one minus less than three so zero point seven four four seven and the answer is going to be close to zero point two five five two so that is the answer if it is greater than four okay yep so now the total of ten trip because there are 10 trips, 5 days, back and forth, so up and down is 2, so there are 5 days, so there are 10 trips, so the probability of being unlucky, use this formula, 0 0.2552 to the power of 10, if you put in the calculator, it's going to be quite a small number, it's going to be 0 0.00000, I think 5 zeros, and then 1172. Okay, I'm going to put this apart because we do not need it anymore. 1172. So that probability, if changes were made, is the probability is 0 0.6. We found that point, the probability from part 1 is 0 0.554. So if you do 10 days or 10 trips, 0 0.554 to the power 10 is 0 0.002276. So you look at these two probability, the chances, they are small. Because both of these, these changes, and without changes, the probability is very, very small. So the changes are not going to make any difference to the probability. So the claim that you will not experience any likelihood of being unlucky will be correct. So if you can answer that, that will be an excellence in this paper. So hopefully you go through again, okay? Hopefully you go through again and see whether you understand the concept of it. If you can answer this, that will be an excellence in this paper. See you soon and I'll see you in the next question, which is question 1C of the part 1C of this paper. Cheers everyone and have a good day.